Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss the hierarchical structure of DNS system. So DNS, a domain name system, actually translates the domain names to IP address. And uh, as we discussed in our previous video that all the computers, all the nodes are the electronic gadgets which are part of the internet has, uh, has an IP address. And if we want to get uh, connected with them, then we need an IP address. But that is difficult for the human being to remember all these IP addresses. So we use names instead of IP address and DNS translates those names into IP address. So what happens when a, when a user using any computer or any electronic gadget, if it, it types a, a URL by using any browser, then for that URL or for that domain, we need to have an IP address. And to get an IP address, that computer, the operating system within that computer first checks its own memory to see if it already has an IP address for google.com. And if it finds, then it can, can retrieve the contents from google.com. But if this, this, the cache memory doesn't have an IP address for, for google.com, then what happens? This user sends a request to the local DNS server. Uh, and that local DNS server is normally provided by the IST from where you get the internet services. And in this local DNS server, the, the request from the user asks that, do you have the IP address of google.com? And in response to that query, the local DNS server uh, has got an operating system and it first again checks uh, its own cache memory to see if it already has an IP address. So first it checks its own cache memory to see if, if it has an IP address for google.com. And if it finds then this, IP, this the local DNS server can forward that IP address to the user back. So if it has, then it can send back the back the IP address to this user. But in case if does if this local DNS server doesn't have the IP address for the google.com, then it will, it, will, it will request the root DNS server on behalf of the user to find out the IP address for google.com. And the root DNS server after receiving that request, it, it, it will not have the, the actual answer are the actual IP address for the google.com, but the root server actually maintains a record of top level domain servers. For example, for example, if we are looking for the IP address of google.com, then this top level domain will have the, will have the record for these, this part of the uh, domain name. So by looking at this top level of the URL, are the domain uh, are the domain name the root dns server will send an ip address of the top level domain server which can have the ip address for google.com and local dns server after receiving the ip address from the root dns server will forward the request to the top level domain server so like this it will send it will send a request by using the IP address provided by the root DNS server to the top level domain servers, and the top level do domain servers are like .com, or .au, or .org. So .com represents some some business or industry domain, and .org is for some for some nonprofit organization, and .au is for country specific like Australia. So top level domain servers can represent either the type of organization or the country of origin. And this top level domain does not have the, the IP address for our uh, domain name, but it, it has an address of, uh, of, uh, of the secondary level domain where we can find the IP address for the google.com. So this will look at the second part this will look at this part of the URL or the domain name, and it will send uh, the IP address for the next level of domain servers to find out the IP address for that. And this will send the IP address for the next level of domains to the local DNS server. And the local DNS server, after receiving the IP address for the next level of uh, domain uh, servers, it will send a request to the secondary level domain servers uh, to find out the IP address for google.com. And now 
this secondary level domain server will have an IP address for google.com and then this secondary level uh, server actually resolves the IP address for the google.com so this secondary level this specific secondary level domain server is also known as authoritative name server because it is going to provide it is basically uh, going to provide the IP address for google.com so it sends an IP address to the local DNS server and the local DNS server after receiving that IP address it forwards that IP address to the uh, to the user and uh, that user after receiving that IP address can use that IP IP address to get connected with the domain of google.com so it uses the IP address and get it gets connected with the with that domain and that domain forwards back some data back to the user and now the user can display the web page requested by us so this was the hierarchical structure used by the DNS system now another way to look at the same is that in DNS hierarchical structure when a user types for example cisco.com then what happens first point of contact will be the root DNS server and the root DNS server will look at the at, at this part at this part of the uh, domain name and by looking at this part this root level will forward or will give an IP address to the local DNS server to get connected with the dot com part of the of the domain server which we call as top level domain servers so in this case this will be this will give us an IP address for this server dot com server and dot com server this top level domain server give will give an IP address for for the Cisco part so we will be we will be connected with the with the help of this local DNS server with Cisco uh, Cisco that is second level domain servers so now this server server available at this part will have an IP address for uh, Cisco.com and this will send an IP address back to this uh, to the local DNS server but for example if you have another IP address in which we have instead of two parts we have three parts so what happen uh, what happens in this case again again first point of contact is the root DNS server so we get connected with the root DNS server root DNS server gives an IP address to get connected with the um, with the UK domain so now we goes like this and UK domain server gives an IP address for the co domain and then the co domain gives us an IP address for this uh, BBC part this this BBC are the lower level domain server so now we move from root to UK to co and then BBC this final this finally this lower level domain server has an IP address for bbc.co.uk and now this forwards an IP address for this URL for, or for this domain name and now after getting this IP address this local DNS server can forward this our request to the user and then user can get connected with the computer and can render the web page so this is this was the another perspective to look at the domain name uh, hierarchical structure of DNS system so thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in our next video Meanwhile, thank you.